Well, a seven-year-old boy was rushed to hospital after he was shot in his home yesterday in Hamilton. CBC's Linda Ward is there and joins us now live. Linda, walk us through what happened. Well, John, neighbors say it was about 8 o'clock last night when they heard two loud bangs coming from outside this home here. This is on Gordon Street in the east end of Hamilton, Ontario. And those loud bangs, gunshots coming from outside the home into the main floor of the house, hitting a seven-year-old boy. Now, one neighbor who lives three doors down from this home heard the mother screaming and ran out to see if he could help. So I got the bleeding stuff in the left hand, wrapped it all up, put pressure on the wound in the abdomen, and then he looked at right in my eyes and he asked me, am I going to die? Uh, that was heartbreaking. I had to turn away, I couldn't say nothing. So when I turned back, he said it again, am I going to die? And I told him, no, he's, he's, he's going to be okay. He is going to be okay, John. That is the good news here. Paramedics arrived, took him to hospital with life-threatening injuries. But at last update, we've heard that he is stable in hospital. We are expecting an update from Hamilton police within the hour. So when it comes to police, do we have any idea pending what they say in around 11 a.m.? But what do we know about suspects? Very, very little at this point, John. They didn't release any information. We know they did speak here at the scene last night, but not any information released at that point in time as to who they're looking for, if there was any vehicle descriptions or anything like that. We know forensics were there at the or at the scene this morning, rather. You can see some of the uh, evidence markers. They sort of lead into the backyard, which uh, tells us, as many of the neighbors have told us as well, that the shots came from the back of the house, from the rear of the the home. Now, uh, we don't know yet if the shooter uh, was on foot or was dropped off here in a vehicle and then uh, got out and shot and then fled. Those are all details that we are waiting for from Hamilton police, but we're also waiting to find out if they know who the intended target was, presuming it was not a, a seven-year-old boy. The uh, deputy chief was here at the scene just outraged yesterday at what he calls uh, this uh, completely unreasonable amount of violence. We've already had three shootings to date in 2020. This is our first victim. A seven-year-old is not acceptable. This is when the public needs to come together and make sure that if you've seen anything, you say something. And we, uh, we know they will be canvassing this area today, John, just to see if anybody here has any uh, security cameras. There are a number of security cameras on the homes here. I will see if they captured anything as well as talking to witnesses to see if they can help police just put together exactly what happened to this seven-year-old boy and who is responsible. John. Linda, thanks for this.